and welcome to another edition of Gale Force Winds, the Force 8 Hometown Edition, right here on board HMCS Montreal, the island of Crete in the Mediterranean Sea, and we are talking to sailors of the Royal Canadian Navy, and what a privilege it is. So, Joel, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Pedestal Joel Field from uh, Deer Lake, Newfoundland. Joel, uh, what made you join the Navy? Uh, to be honest, it was free education for one, uh, yeah. but then uh, serving the country definitely is on the top of the list too, and uh, traveling the world. So Joel, you joined right there in Deer Lake? Yep, uh, Cornerbrook actually is the recruiting officer. So, right. Yeah, and my buddy's uh, father was a recruiting officer, so naturally he got us too. Right. Yeah. So uh, where did you go to school? Uh, Elwood Elementary, or Elwood, Elwood High School, eventually, right. yeah. And when you joined the Navy, where did they send you? They sent me uh, to St. John's uh, at the Marine Institute there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you went in, so you joined the Navy, see the world, and you guys first St. John's? First St. John's first, yeah. Well, I went to BC for my uh, basic training, so that was, I've never left Deer Lake before, really, so BC was quite a ways away. Tell me about that experience when you left Deer Lake and headed off to, I guess it was Esquimalt, right? Yeah, Esquimalt. Uh, we were one of the last groups to go through there, but it was uh, quite the shock getting you can shipped all the way across the country and then getting off the bus and just getting screamed at. It was, it was quite the experience. <laughs> How old were you then? Uh, I was 18, right out of high school. So right out of high school and you found yourself in a squamal. That was quite an experience. So what do you do on board? I'm uh, one of the weapons engineering managers on board in the CSE department. Right. So and what does that entail? So basically um, we look at, we manage all the uh, weapons engineering sections. So they have armament, fire control, radar, those kinds of, kinds of things. We uh, look after the POs of those those sections. Wow! So how long have you been in the Navy now? I'm um, coming up on 19 years. It'll be August. Will be 19 years in. So you've seen a lot of stuff happen. A lot of systems come on board these ships. Must be impressive. Oh yes, there have been a lot of changes in systems. A lot of yeah, seen a lot of things. Yeah. And you know, Joel, the Navy is uh, entering a very interesting time. Right here we are on. Uh, Interestingly enough, I was part of the commission and crew of this ship, so and that wasn't yesterday. 1962? <laughs> <was it? laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Not quite that, but, but it's an interesting time for the Navy, right? Because these ships are still fairly capable platforms, but yet you look over the horizon and there's some amazing ships coming our way. It must be an exciting time for you. It is. Uh, I'm hoping eventually I'll be able to serve on one. I'm not sure with, with the time frame and all, but uh, yeah, it's very exciting to see the new ships coming in. Yeah. What's your favorite part of the Navy, Joel? Uh, I would say seeing, seeing the world would be the, I've seen a lot of places that I probably would never have went on vacation or whatever, in, so it's... Uh, it's in 19 years, you've been a lot of places. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Name one that really stands out. Young really boy out. from Deer Lake, seen the world, what stands out to you? Stands out to me. I would say one of the right at the top of the memory would be Na uh, New York City uh, during Fleet Week. That was uh, probably wow. one of the best trips I've ever done. It was all all the navies, U.S. Navy, us all in New York City at the same time. And So how many ships would have sailed in to New York uh, at that time? There was a few. There, it's usually like there's a couple Canadian ships, the Preserver, the Tanker when we had her, like yeah. a lot of Canadian ships going in and then a lot of the U.S. ships that normally dock there were, were all in those. Pulling into New York City on Fleet Week, that's yeah. different than Deer Lake. Oh, it was. All of us, all the sailors in their white uniforms, and I tell you, the, the Americans know how to treat their military when we got there. Was, you, you were spoiled. It was, yeah. it was good. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Joel, anything you'd like to say to the folks back home? Uh, just like to say, if it's getting to my mom and dad and everyone, mm -hmm. hi back home in uh, Deer Lake. Uh, miss you all, and hopefully we'll get together summer when I get back. What's your mom and dad's name? Melvin and Graham Field. Melvin Grahamfield, Melva, and Graham, Melva Field. and Graham, and they're living in Deer Lake. Deer Lake, yep. In Deer Lake, Melva, Melva and Graham. Hi, this young man. We're proud of him, and you should be as well. Well, that was great. Well, another wonderful edition of Gale Force Winds right here on board HMCS Montreal in Suda Bay, Greece. Uh, I can tell you this, the world needs more HMCS Montreal, and quite frankly, Canada needs more Joel Field. <laughs> Thanks, Joel. Thank Newfoundland's you. proud of you, mate. 